Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your boy Shady Rich, officially coming back to you guys live with a brand new GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing the next DLC in GTA Online and pretty much everything that's been going on in the GTA community since the last video here on the channel. But of course, you guys already know, before we get into it, I know I've been gone for a minute, guys. And because of that, I'm going to be doing something that I have never done on this channel for this week, okay? I am going to be giving away two Megalodon Shark cards to one subscriber okay so if you guys would like to win it two eight million dollar shark cards okay that's 16 million dollars in gta online from your boy shader rich make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe to the youtube channel with all notifications turned on and make sure you guys answer the question of the day now the question of the day is do you think rockstar should get rid of gta online for players who play on the xbox 360 and the playstation 3 me personally this is just my opinion I don't think they should shut down the servers i mean they should treat it just like call of duty games like you know how you can get on any call of duty game no matter what it is the server's on i think they should do it like that but i could kind of see rockstar doing something like this because it's kind of how 2k is their undertake 2 and you guys know when 2k gets like two new games out they usually shut down the server so for example they shut down 2k 19 and now 2k 20 and 2k 21 is the only servers you can access so i think that rockstar shouldn't do this i think that they should allow their player base to stay on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 because, I mean, it's just a fun experience. You can mod on those consoles. You know, if your friends still have those consoles, it's just good to have a little bit of nostalgia. It's a completely different game from what it is right now. There's, like, so many old things in that game. But that's my opinion on it. You guys let me know what's going on in the comment section down below. You think they should get rid of it or do you think they should keep it? I want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions. Let me know. So to start off this video, man, like I said, the community is just kind of everywhere right now. There's been a lot of new things going on since my last video here on the channel. We're going to go ahead and break down what's been going on in the gta community now number one we're going to talk about the release date of the next dlc i know a ton of you guys are super excited for that next dlc you want to know the release date you want to know all the information and in today's video i'm going to give it to you and i'm going to give it to you right now you guys are not going to have to wait for it um basically what's going on is you guys remember when i said that there was three adversary modes coming out we have the stunt races they already came out supposed to be having some deadline event and we're also supposed to be having some new like survivor modes right so the issue with this is rockstar is like egging it on like they're just keep on adding more content in between these adversary modes which means it's going to be pushing back the release date of the brand new dlc now i'm saying this because for the last two weeks we have been expecting the new adversary modes and instead we got the actual filler content which is these event weeks they just been throwing out now i'm not gonna lie this event week last week or it's still going on you guys should honestly take advantage of it i know i didn't give you guys a heads up but i'm sure if you guys are actively playing gta online you know what's going on right now and they just kind of went crazy with the ceo work and the vehicle cargo everything is like really good right now it's like really lucrative if you're trying to make money in gta online especially for the next dlc like you can literally sell your vehicles in your vehicle cargo warehouse and get like double payout or something crazy like that so like if you have four like high-end vehicles that's already 400k if you do that same run twice you literally make a million basically 800k to a million just from doing that sell mission twice so it's really lucrative right now and so it's been a really cool event week and it's not much to complain about but at the same time it just seems like rockstar is just trying to hold off on this dlc for the summer and kids are already out of school and people want to get online and they want to do new things but it just seems like they're pushing it back and we really don't know why now although we don't know why i kind of have an idea and i think this is the reason why they're doing this i feel that they're only pushing this dlc as far as they can do it is because they want to have a bridge that is not long between the new dlc in the summer and when the actual expanded and enhanced version comes out in november so we know that august september november is it's, it's like three months right so that's a lot of time but in the gta world and gta community a dlc for three months is like good like we're eating we're getting event weeks that are good we're getting new vehicles new weapons everything right it's really fun and so it lasts that long and so that's why i think they're trying to push this thing as far as possible but that's complete speculation there's no facts rockstar hasn't said a word about it so you know don't take that you know what i'm saying and go run with it because like i said it's not confirmed it's just what i think they're doing from a business perspective but we just heard some more inside information from test funds too he usually tells us what's going on in the game files and everything and this recently he actually told us the podium vehicle list now there's going to be a lot of podium vehicles 
and the podium vehicles as long as rockstar keeps adding podium vehicles they're pretty much pushing the next dlc out so like i said the last date we knew that was pretty much confirmed was july 27th that's what we thought july 27th was going to be the day that they were going to release this dlc we're going to have access to it and we're going to be able to play it and everything and then they actually added something to the actual podium list which means now it's pushed back to august so we're most likely going to be looking at an august dlc for the summer i know a lot of you guys are probably like shaking your heads right now because august is like the end of the summer it's not even in the middle of the summer like you're not gonna have enough time to play before it's time to go back to school or college or wherever you're going you know and so it's really annoying what rockstar is doing honestly it really is i really don't like when they do this and they keep pushing content back but in this situation it kind of makes sense you know if rockstar wants to create a bridge that's shorter to get to the next expanded and enhanced version i mean i agree with that i don't think we should sit and just play this same dlc for another four months until the expanded and enhanced version comes out i mean when gta online releases on playstation 5 and on xbox series x i'm sure that game is going to have another two years on it like at least like easily because the way they're going to do it is going to be so cool and i just don't see them like stopping these dlcs when the next version of it comes out i don't see them like just slowing down on content i see them constantly pumping as much into this game as they can they just want to refurbish it make it brand new so people enjoy it and new players come as well so that's their goal and uh i believe that this is a smart decision that they're making to kind of push the dlc out because if they do that it will seem like we have more content in gta again i miss those days where gta used to drop where rockstar used to drop multiple dlcs in a year and we'd be always having content and it would just always be fun and like that was the only game we played i don't think gta has been the only game i played for like two years and that's crazy to say but it's true you know i don't get online and i'm sure a lot of you guys don't get online either unless you're getting a bonus or there's like really cool like uh sell missions or whatever it is whatever the double money and rp is for, for the week i'm sure you guys are just like me so that's pretty much what's going on as far as release dates for the next dlc podium vehicle list got updated a little bit and uh yeah man we're just probably going to be looking at august now it's not confirmed they haven't said anything when they do say something i'll let you guys know but yeah man that's pretty much what's going on for that right there but i do apologize for not being on the channel in a week like i said it's been pretty dry in gta online there's nothing new that came out so when new things come out i will be going ahead and dropping more videos more frequently i do appreciate you guys for sticking around like i said man make sure you enter that giveaway two eight million dollar shark cards this week drop a like subscribe comment on the youtube channel answer the question of the day do you want ps3 and xbox 360 to get rid of gta online or keep it with that being said i'm signing out peace I'm